Getting the most from your medical marijuana prescription. Case study number eight, working. My name is Pamela Campbell. I'm 46 years old and a bricklayer for Ted Scanlon Construction in Value, Toronto. 15 years of laying brick has done a number on my right shoulder. Laying brick, <coughs> laying brick also transformed me physically to like one of the guys, you know? Like I got broad shoulders and a barrel chest and a baritone voice. My mom says I'm growing an Adam's apple, but I just tell her I got a thick throat. The construction guys don't whistle at me. No cat calls for Pamela. It hurts my feelings. I'm a girl, you know? But since I started smoking medical marijuana and my government issued blunt wraps, I can't feel my shoulder or the pain or the ridicule no more. When I'm stoofed, I can only feel the bricks, you know? Spreading that soft, creamy cement on the hard, nubby bricks. It's like I'm making a big peanut butter sandwich. I get so lost in the rhythm of laying brick, sometimes I don't realize it, but I've worked through lunch. And if I forget to wear my helmet, and say I'm operating heavy machinery, and I don't realize I've been operating it for a very long time, Tyrone has my back. He'll throw me my helmet. Whoa, Pam. Where's your damn brain button? Heads up, catch. Thanks, Tyrone. But I don't need a helmet. I don't even need my gloves anymore. Because I need to feel my hands. And when I'm stoof, maybe I can't whistle with the guys, but I can whistle with myself, you know? And I can horse around with myself. <laughs> but mostly, I just lay the bricks, locked in my brain. A world where Tyrone holds me tight and keeps me safe and warm. I love you, Pam. And the pain of the world can't reach me, because I'm stoofed. <laughs>